If you have aches and pains in certain joints, mobility issues in certain body parts, you just need to stretch out or need a simple but useful warm up for a workout, I'm gonna show you some really cool exercises with only one tool that almost everyone has at home, a broomstick or just a broom. Let's get started. Hey guys, welcome to the Stay Sore channel. Welcome to my gym, Bofit. And I'm gonna show you some broomstick exercises, mostly mobility drills to get out stiff joints, aches, pain, stiff muscles, and so on. You can use this as a whole warm up routine for your workout or just a mobility and stretching routine in your days when you're not working out. You can do this before you go to gym or at the gym. Or you can just take certain exercises out of this routine and warm up certain joints that you need to work on. If they're stiff, aching, hurting, and so on. That being said, if you really have aches or pains, consider talking to a doctor. This is only entertainment, right? Let's get started. Now, the first one, the biggest one is shoulder girdle mobility, getting the shoulders, the shoulder blades to move. So here's what you do. Grab your broomstick. You're gonna get a snatch position. So when you bend your knee, this crease here, that's your hip crease. You want to find where it is, put the broom there, and then slide your arms out. So when they're hanging straight and this is where your knee bends, that's your hip crease. You want to find that spot and then you want to flip the bar over or the stick over, flip it back, flip it over, flick it, flip it back. Obviously a healthy shoulder will just flip easily over it. You're going to feel a little bit of stretch across your chest, shoulder, and even bicep. So you do this a few times. If this is no big deal, slide it one finger closer, keep flipping it. You're going to feel it's getting tighter and bigger of a stretch. Get it closer, another like seven to 10 reps, and then closer, 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 until eventually, at one point, you're gonna flip and it's not going, it's not working, it's stuck. Wherever this is stuck, this is the position where you start your second exercise in. This is your second exercise. So you find the position where it gets stuck, go shoulder width apart, and then we're gonna do an overhead squat. So butt goes back, on your heels, squat as low as you can, come back up. Squat as low as you can, come back up. And you're gonna keep flossing it up and down into the squat. When you look from the side, you wanna make sure that you obviously, your butt goes back, your weight's mostly on your heels, a little bit on your toes, but mostly on your heels, and that the bar is behind your ears. Nice deep stretch, you're gonna feel the whole body. And you do about 10-ish squats, until you start feeling looser. You're gonna feel the stretch around your back, around your shoulders, knees and hips gonna start opening up. So that's your second exercise. Your third exercise, especially for those people that have really tight shoulders or sluggish posture, like the 21st century posture where you ride your car to work and then you sit at the computer at work and then you play on your phone, eat lunch, sit again in the computer, drive back home and then end up watching TV at home, right? So we have to open that up. So most people live in internal rotation. We try to do external rotation, which is usually a helpful thing to do. Very healthy, good warm up. So here's what you do. You have your stick and you slide it a little higher. You let it drop to the side, outside, around your elbow, and then grab it underneath and stretch your shoulder. You might even feel a click or two in your shoulders. You're just gonna hold it. The more you pull this up, the bigger the stretch. So hold it for like a minute, two, whatever feels comfortable. Bring it back. You switch your arm to the other side. Let it drop to the outside, around your tricep slash elbow, grab it underneath, and stretch. Again, hold it as long as you feel necessary. Good stretch for the shoulder, good mobility. So again, you can use this whole thing as a whole body warm up, or if you just have bad shoulders, just use the shoulder stuff and so on. So the next one, wrists. This is gonna be very good for people that have aches and pains when they're on the floor doing a plank, a push up or whatever. So if you have weak wrists, very healthy and good. Grab the stick in the middle, st stick it out, straight arm, and then twist and let it swing it. 
So let the momentum stretch your wrist. And every time you switch directions, you're gonna feel your muscles kicking in and starting to switch directions, twist to the left, twist to the right. Okay. If you're getting strong enough to do about 10 to 15 of these and then obviously switch sides, then you can make it more challenging. Maybe the next day, maybe the next week, maybe the next month by again, reaching lower, making one end a little longer. So now you have more weight on the other side. And again, you're gonna swing it out and in. Now one end is not, now much heavier, creating more momentum. It's harder to switch directions of the twist. And then obviously do the other side and so on. You improve and get better and better. Okay, so that was the shoulder, the wrist. Let's move on to the next one. All right, we're gonna go into the lower body now. And one of the biggest thing with most people from sitting a lot is tight hip flexors. We're gonna try to open them up while keeping a good posture up here. Okay, so put the bar on your upper back like you would do a barbell back squat, right? Slide your hands as far back as you can, which is already a good position for your chest, shoulders being upright and out. So from the side, this is how it looks. Keep your neck straight. You don't wanna have your chin collapsing forward. And then you just step back and open your chest. You should feel the back leg, the hip flexor stretching like crazy. Bounce a little bit, come up, other side. Bounce a little bit, the weight's on the front heel, come back up. Also what you could do is a few twists. And then generally you should feel really warmed up. All right, guys, I hope you got something helpful out of this. If you liked the video, hit the like button to not miss any helpful videos on health, fitness, nutrition, mindset, and hit the subscribe button and even the little bell icon next to it so you don't miss a video. And there's so many more cool exercises with broomsticks, but this is just the basics that gonna help most people, mostly upper body, shoulders, wrists, and so on. Use it on your off day, or on your workout day when you're gonna warm up before the workout, keep the blood flow in your joints and muscles. Stay healthy, see you in the next one.